you are part of a four person um it's described as a long form improv team based in tampa florida and you're known as daytime delusions tell us a little bit about how this group was formed and how you got into improv and performing uh it's it's all uh a very interesting story because it's it's so unlikely and it's so based on uh the butterfly effect, I guess you would say, oh, because uh, similar to you, I, uh, I was, I was in college, I think it was my third year. So very late in the game and still wanting to reach out, wanting to make more friends and work on my social skills. I have this sort of very monotone voice when I speak a lot of the time. And I, I think that just makes people think I'm uninterested in what they have to say, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get that, but, I get that. But when I say, wow, that's really interesting, could you please tell me more? I'm completely sincere. That's brilliant. <laughs> so I, I, I pushed myself I, to go out of my shell. Uh, first day of the new semester was a Monday. They have their Monday improv meeting at a uh, organization, student organization. It was called Improv at USF, which is the, uh, the university I went to. And uh, I go in, and it's a beautiful teaching and learning environment. Uh, participation was voluntary, so I got to sort of sit back for a little bit, see the games be done by the more experienced players, and then you stick your hand up, you go up there. And I was so desperate to win the approval of this whole new group of people that I, I gave my all that semester to just learning improv. I was studying whose line. I was looking back at sketch comedy from shows like SNL or Monty Python and trying to reverse engineer, well, what was the game of this scene? Uh, oh, like, okay. What's the one joke that they keep hitting that really makes it work? And uh, the student organization teaches short form improv, which are games very similar to whose line is it anyway? Uh, if you've seen games like a new decision where somebody says, mm, change the last thing you did, and then you have to improvise a new thing and the scene keeps going. Yeah, That's I've an seen, example of short form. Yeah, I've seen people do that on stage. That looks really difficult. <laughs> oh, it's, it's brilliant because <laughs> you'll get people whose brain sort of works where it's like, oh, I need to go to my car. And then you say change and they're like, I need to stay home, change. You know, I need to feed the fish. And it's, it's like once you get to that third or fourth thing, you've run out of opposites yeah, or antonyms yeah. to work with. And uh, there was a student showcase coming up, and it was sort of an opportunity to win the attention of the older members in the club. So I went to three people in particular who had a very good Friday meeting at this club. And I said, do you want to be on my team? Like, we got to practice once, and then we're good to go. Do you want to be on my team? So we, the three of us, it was uh, me, my friend Dan, who is currently in Daytime Delusions with me, uh, our friend Chris and our friend Andrew. And so I drove like a madman one day from work. I got off work at seven. The show started at seven. So I pull up at 7.45 to the university lecture hall where we're performing. And I'm running in, changing out of my work uniform, running up the stairs, do our performance. And luckily it was a great one. And so later that semester, I believe it was a... Uh, December, we're sort of walking myself and Dan with the president of the club at the time, our friend Kara, who is the third member of this team. And she says, hey, you know, usually we send a couple teams from our club to this competition in Sarasota. It's, it's really just like a fun day trip, and uh, it's great to see other teams in the local area. Uh, FGCU sends team, Noob College of Tampa, uh, a lot of teams from Georgia, actually, so we have people coming that far down for this competition. Wow. And... We, we go, we're just treating it like a very fun day trip, and over the time that we've agreed to be daytime delusions with uh, myself, Dan, Kara, and Kimmy, who was our fourth member, we, we all experienced like some personal hardships at this time, and we were stressed out with school, we were dealing with uh, career decisions and things looming very large in the future for a young 20-something, and that turmoil sort of brought us all close together in a way that really our I think our bond became the most evident thing about our improv mm. and so we perform at this college improv tournament in Sarasota and we make it to the finals and we're all losing our minds and we we go out and we're very quickly like practicing silently and we started this tradition there where before we go on stage for a show we play a compliment game and it it sounds cheesy but it's we get in a circle and every person has to say something nice about everybody else. And then we cry, I'd say 75% of the time when we do that. And then we went out on stage and 
we won the finals and then suddenly we went from being like this very casual arrangement of friends who bonded over hardship to we are a southeastern regional champion improv team and we have to now finance a trip for ourselves to go to nationals in chicago in march <laughs>